Hello and welcome to this video, Gareth here from tastytubes.com. In this video, we are going to look at the AT&T logo, learn a little bit about the logo and the designer behind it. So this AT&T logo was designed in 1983 and served until 2015 when it was reworked by a studio called Interbrand. This logo was designed by an American designer called Saul Bass, born in 1920. Saul Bass is regarded as one of the best graphic designers of the 20th century, best known for his design of motion picture title sequences, film posters and corporate logos. Saul Bass was also an Academy Award winning filmmaker. Examples of Saul Bass's famous title sequences include The Man with the Golden Arm, 1955 North by Northwest, 1959 Psycho, 1960. To watch these intros in full, you can find links in the description. Examples of Sol Bass's film poster work include The Man with the Golden Arm, 1955, St. Joan, 1957, Vertigo, 1958, Anatomy of a Murderer, 1959, and The Shining, 1980. Now these are just a few of many posters Sol Bass designed. To see more posters, you can check out the website saulbassposterarchive.com loads more to see there, link is in the description. So as well as his motion picture and poster designs, over his 40 year career, Sal Bass designed many iconic logo designs, many of which have gone largely unchanged. It's been said that the average lifespan of a Sal Bass logo is 34 years. Examples include the United Way logo, designed in 1972, only to be refined slightly in 2004, the Girl Scouts logo, designed in 1978, refined slightly in 2010. The Kleenex logo, modified slightly from Bass's original design in 2007. And the Dixie logo, designed in 1969, to be tweaked and modified slightly in 2016. To see the logo evolution of these four examples, you can find links in the description. Now, out of all of his logo designs, one of his most famous is his AT and T logo. The AT and T logo was redesigned from the previous Bell logo, which was also designed by Sal Bass. The Bell logo served from 1969 to become a globe in 1983. This logo would become known as the Death Star logo. The horizontal lines would come to represent lines that covered the globe, suggesting worldwide communication. The AT and T logo is essentially a combination mark. It includes two visual elements, the prominent logo mark and a logo type. In this case, more specifically a letter mark because it's an acronym. To quote Solbass, the symbol creates the uniqueness in the mark. 
so the lettering in the logo type can remain clear and easy to read. The symbol becomes a flag. By itself, the logo type is just another word in a sea of words, but combined, the symbol serves as a focal point, directing attention to the name. The lettermark element was a bold monolithic sans serif typeface developed in the previous logo version. This along with the blue colour was kept in the 1983 version. Over 40 years, the logo would be modified and refined slightly with added dimension. Today, the AT and T logo is still reminiscent of Saubass's design back in 1983. In 2015, the logo would become refined with a change of typeface and more curvature in the lines. Today, it is common for the logo type element to appear standalone or as a lockup with the letter mark. So, what do I think about this logo? Well, ideally, a logo should maintain a long lifespan and remain consistent throughout the course of time. It's obvious that Saul Bass understood this concept because lots of his logos have gone largely unchanged. This logo is one of them. I like how simple the original incarnation was and how it lent itself to a modern treatment. It may have changed slightly, but it's still got Bass's version behind it. I like the new version, but I still prefer Sal Bass's 1983 logo. I find it more bold, striking and memorable. So what can we learn from this story? Well, what's interesting about Sal Bass is that he created many logos between the 60s and 80s. Since then, there has been big changes in how society behaves and reacts to different forms of design. Many of his logos still remain very similar to their original incarnations. So, how have they proven to be so effective and timeless? What is most striking about Sal Bass's work is its simplicity. His designs are bold logo marks and typically use just one or two colours. Sal Bass saw his logo symbols as flags, serving as focal points. There is strong visual narrative, movement and direction in his designs, executed elegantly and simply. Each design is very distinct and memorable. Sal Bass's work has proven that simplicity, along with strong visual narrative and originality, is the formula for timeless logos. If you'd like to learn more about Sal Bass, you can watch some video links and read more articles. Links are in the description. There's quite a few interesting links there, so I recommend you check it out. So that's one of many logos and designers I have spoken about. If you enjoyed this video and want to watch more like it, you can see more episodes in the Famous Logos playlist link is in the description. Well I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did hit the like button on my Facebook page. If you'd like to see more videos like this in future hit the subscribe button and you can also follow me on Twitter at TastyTubes. So until next time, have fun guys and I'll see you in the next video.